Let me go. So we've been doing YouTube and making videos for about about five months now. And um, as of right now, Meg and I only have about 138 subscribers. But honestly, I think this process has given us a lot more than views. Starting YouTube has given us a lot more new opportunities and new adventures that we were able to go on because of it. I'm pretty introverted and nervous all the time and so doing new things kind of freaked me out a little bit but you know it's been so rewarding in that sense what are you doing what are you doing you want to sit in front of the camera on me i don't know youtube allows us to create physical copies of our memories and that's probably the coolest thing about creating these videos on the internet. It's mainly just kind of for us. We've decided to do this because we've been going on all these trips and adventures together and sometimes photos and stuff are easy to get lost in your camera roll and we don't we didn't want that. We wanted to be able to have a specific place where we could jot we could jot down all <laughs> we could jot down all our memories. Hey, you're in the shot. We wanted a place to jot down all our memories in a video format so that we could go back when we're older and be able to see what we've done. It's super fun to see. It's already been fun to kind of see what we've been doing and it's super exciting. I've been into many different hobbies in my life. I've been in bands. I've been an art teacher. I've been um, a photographer and a videographer every once in a while. But pursuing YouTube was always probably the most is the one that I never really thought I'd do because it's so scary to be in front of a camera. I'm such an introvert and I'm so um, nervous all the time. So far, it's been pretty worth it because I'm allowing myself to grow in that and to be better at talking to people and being more social and it's super exciting. YouTube has definitely had its challenges and it's been a really big learning curve for me. It's just been really great though to learn and accept that one, you're not gonna be perfect at everything that you start and two, that nobody really cares anyways and so it's good to just do whatever you want. I like to keep a lot of myself hidden and quiet and that's really kept me from exploring a lot of different things. But if there's anything that I'm trying to learn this year, it's that I don't wanna be stagnant. I want to continue to try and learn new things and push myself to do new things, even if it makes me uncomfortable or even if I think I don't know anything about that or I'm too old or whatever the reason. 